Hi friends. I hope wherever you are in the world, you are happy and healthy. My name is Tammy. And if you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. I truly appreciate you choosing to come hang out with me for a little bit. So I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> you're about to watch me from the past, from a week ago, in fact. And um, I filmed it. And then it just sat there forever because I just didn't have the time to, I just didn't have time. Anyways, so this is a week ago, me, me a week ago, <laughs> and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so since I live in the United States, one of the uh, make makeup uh, brands that I wanted to try was P. Louise. So last month actually was my first month. I did their budget beauty box and I really did it because the packaging, um, it was the like spell books. I ended up getting a droplet of magic one. Let me know if you want to see that one. I'm sure you've seen a lot of people opening up their budget box and showing you that palette. And I also ended up getting their new balmy for you. I got mine in strawberry, which I was really glad because there was a flavor or a scent or two that I was like, oh, please don't like, get that one. But I do want to tell you, if you do get these, I really like these, but <laughs> don't accidentally get this in your mouth. It doesn't taste like strawberry. Just FYI. Okay. Um, and I really wanted their budget box or their, I got their budget box but I don't have it anymore. I like actually canceled my ice cream beauty box. I may pick it up here and there in the future, but I'm really trying not to. And I also, um, I'm on hold with my Ipsy BoxyCharm because I think I'm probably going to cancel that. And um, I was really glad that I didn't get this month's box because it just didn't speak to me whatsoever. I didn't need anything that they had. And then um, I do not, like, I'm not getting the P. Louise budget box. Okay. That being said, I did want to do some advent calendars this year. And I already did the Revolution Beauty um, Willy Wonka and their 24 Days of Glam boxes. And, you know, those boxes go for like 40 or $50. And, I mean, it's Revolution Makeup. Take that however you want. And um, P. Louise has these beautiful advent calendars. They're like huge and it's all full size makeup and they light up and they're gorgeous. But what am I going to do with that packaging when all is said and done? It's going to go in the garage to be broken down and thrown in to be recycled if possible. That just seems like a waste. Now, <clears throat> If my daughter was still a little, I would use that box and let her play house with that box, you know, but she's not little anymore. She's a teenager. She's not going to play with it. I'm not going to play with it. And to get that box shipped all the way over here, it was $60 for shipping alone. Mama doesn't have that. No, I would much, much, much rather use that $60 to get you know, an unearthly palette because I love unearthly and I would know what I was getting. And so no, mom, mama didn't buy that advent calendar. I can't, I can't afford it. I don't need it. And also one thing that kind of deters me from getting um, P. Louise is because although there are eyeshadow formula from what I have experienced thus far using my Droplet of Magic um, palette, is beautiful, like so easy to blend, gorgeous. Um, the packaging from other pictures I've seen, that one I don't mind so much, but others that I've seen, their packaging is big and bulky and I don't have room for that. So, I, and I don't like huge palettes. Like I'm pushing myself with some of my Blend Bunny palettes because I usually don't like that many colors, um, that many pans in a palette. But again, Blend Beauty, or Blend Beauty, Blend Bunny, I'm in love with their formula too. So 
I can do that. I will get that. Excuse me. Um, but hey, Louise did have a budget beauty calendar box. And that one I got. Now this is empty now because I had to take all the little boxes out. Um, let's talk packaging on this. And then we will talk about the order. So I was really happy. It was very well packaged, very well supported. It had like, you know, support on all four sides of the box that it was shipped in. Um, this had a little roof at the very top to keep all of these individual boxes stable. It's beautiful to look at. Like they did a beautiful job with packaging. Now it doesn't light up like the big one, but considering it's just going to be broken down and recycled, I really don't need it to light up. But it is gorgeous. It does say, welcome to the wonderful world of P. Louise, where dreams are made a reality. It's a little gingerbread house. Don't worry, Angel, for here you are home. On this side, it has, I don't know if that's supposed to be P. Louise, but in front of the door on the big one, I think that's where it lights up. And then here it says, um, overcome fears with blood, sweat, tears. Oh, it will take blood, it will take sweat, it will take tears. This is just really, really pretty. Maybe I will keep this somehow. I don't know. Anyways, um, packaging was really great. Even with this little one, I'm gonna try to not make a whole lot. Well, it's gonna make a lot of noise if it falls down. Okay, so I had to take all of these little boxes out because they were not in order. That That is definitely one thing that, you know, would have been nice if they were just in order and I could just pull them out instead of having to pull them all out and put them on my table so that I can do it in order. But, it, and the very bottom was number one. And it was a stroke. I do appreciate that they have these little, you know, things, but this one, you can see it's all tore up and it's all tore up <laughs> because it did not want to come out of the bottom. It just did not. I mean, it took me like five legit minutes to get it out. So anyways, let's open them up. So the first one, P. Louise, can I have a taste? Now this is starting strong because this looks like an eyeshadow palette. Palette for eye and face. It does have like a cute little like poem or something down here. But I'm gonna be honest with you with this lighting, I don't, I don't even know if I can read that. It's very, very small. And I don't know if you want to see me struggle for 30 minutes reading the back of these. <laughs> But it does have like this cute little saying. I'll give you a little taste because I can read the first one. Can we take your order? Because we've got a plenty to serve. Know you've been hungry for a while, longing for what you deserve. No more waiting. It's your turn to take a seat. This table is set with opportunities so marvelous and sweet. So don't let the blessings go cold, babe. Reach out and grab them while they're hot. Make your intentions known. These flavors will not be forgot. Okay, it goes on and on and on. And uh, that, okay. I, yeah, so I'm not going to read all of this, but this is a palette for eye and face. It is cruelty free. It does say on here 12 months. There is a little warning for external use only. Well, that's good to know because, you know, you don't want to eat it. Um, kind of kind of like I did with this. I'm sure this says for external use only too. And yeah, it went in my mouth. Um, not on purpose. <laughs> it does also say the ingredients for eyeshadow ingredients and eyeshadow um, or face pigment ingredients. Okay. I can't read all of these because it's so, so small. See, it's very small. But I do see that it looks like the first one for both is talc. So if you are talc free, um, this brand, this box may not be for you. 
Okay, and it is all on the back too. Everything that is on this box, which is still tricky, like that out, is on the back of this, has this little ribbon. Looks like taste is cut out. Can I have a taste? That just cracks me up. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I just want you to see that like it does have a mirror Boop. and taste is cut out from it. And then it has a double-sided brush. These are the colors, very pretty. Um, double-sided brush, it's very soft. So that's really nice. And it looks like it has a highlight in here. So that is the highlighter right there. Um, yeah, this is a very, very pretty palette. Very much my color scheme, unlike this blue. <laughs> this is very much my color story. So I am happy. This is a very strong day one. I am super happy with this. I am going to put it back in its cute little box because it's just so cute, all of it. I don't know if I'll always keep it in a box, but all right, day. So I'm going to move day one out of here. Day two looks like this. It's pretty thick, too. Oh, this is, this is cute. Let me get rid of the box. All right, so there is the top. How cute is that? And sugar and spice and everything nice. Very pretty packaging. I do have to say this about P. Louise. Everything I see, even the big bulky packaging, like it's beautiful packaging. It's just so big and bulky. Um, Like some of the eyeshadow palette stuff. So let's open this up. What are you? What are you? What are you? All right, this one's a little bit easier to read. I'm not gonna read the whole thing again because it's like a huge passage, you know. But the beginning of it says, heat me up with some sugar and spice, warm and welcoming, let's melt this ice. Chillier months approaching, I'm wrapping myself up tight. As long as it's layered up in shine, problems are out of sight. Toasty and from within this magical winter spice wonderland, friends and family around my table, what more could I have planned? It's not about the presents, it's not about the food. A little love and laughter will truly transform your mood. Okay, so I did read the whole thing. <laughs> this is a highlight palette. And again, um, there's a warning for external, external use only. If irritation um, occurs, declutter, or not declutter, discontinue, discontinue use. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, now, where is the ingredients? Okay, so the ingredients is not on the back of this one. However, they do share the ingredients on the back of this one right here. So again, so pretty. What um that's what dreams are made of. Aw, sugar and spice and everything nice. That's what dreams are made of. It has a cute little plastic saying sugar and spice and everything nice. And this is the highlight. And it does have a mirror. This is the highlighter palette. Some of these look like they may be way too dark for me but it does look like you know there might be a little something for most everyone maybe okay so let's see here these are the two lightest colors here's the super lightest okay so i definitely can use the top one i mean i can use the others as maybe oh and it doesn't look like there's like a whole lot of like under you know so it's obvious you got a streak going on or something um, these are the next two. They're a little bit darker. Oh, nope. I guess that one is darker than that one. Okay, so those two. So, huh. interestingly enough, these two I could potentially use. Maybe the others I can use as like... Um, 
eyeshadow or something. But that is cute. I'm happy with that. I mean, at least two of them I could, you know, use. Put that back in its box. Day three. Did I say how much this cost? So this box um, was like 60 US dollars, 60 ish US dollars. And then the shipping was like 13. So in the end, it was like roughly around $80. And there's 10 full size products. So uh, that's roughly like $8 a product. So that that's good. All right, so here's day three. Looks a lot like day two, except for it's not as thick. And I probably won't like swatch everything. But oh, this is cute too. The packaging kills me, it's so cute. Okay. So just roll with it. Sometimes you just got to roll with it. It's a powder bronzer palette. Ooh, this one kind of makes me a little nervous. The secret ingredient is always kindness. I love that. On the back, um, again, there's that little warning. There is the ingredients. Looks like talc is in here. Sometimes we got we got to sit back and accept the universe the universe's timing. Might be for a greater purpose, but trust those stars are aligning. All you need, <laughs> and the way they spelled need is like, you know, you're kneading bread. That's cute. All you need, especially since there's like a rolling pin on here, all you need is a chance to shine, to show them what you're made of. Your ingredients make you unique. How could they not fall in love? So set the timer because you're about to win. Open the oven to what you've been longing for. Your dreams and goals are waiting for you on the other side of the door. That is cute. Okay. Makes me a little nervous because it's a bronzer palette. So you know already I'm not going to be able to use all the colors. Hopefully they have a nice range because even if like I'm not going to be able to use all the colors, if they have a nice range on here, then more people should be able to use it. And hopefully it's more inclusive. All right. And again, packaging, super cute. Looks exactly like the box. All the information is the same as on the back of the box. It says it's good for 12 months. I'm gonna wipe off my hand here. Oh, that is darling. Oh my gosh, that's so darling. They're little gingerbread men. And it's been backwards. Okay, kind of can. They're little gingerbread men. And as you can see, there's a reflection on the wall because there is a nice size mirror here. And I should be able to use that one and maybe that one. These are warm. Um, I could use these as, as maybe some eyeshadows. I do like it. There is like a really, really pale one and a darker one. So hopefully in here, um, they are able to cover a lot of different um, skin tones, hopefully. That is cute. I don't know how I'm gonna get the brush in there though. Like it's gonna make it so messy. That's a pain. Like I am clean for, at between you and me, I'm a little bit of a clean freak, <laughs> which is why I always keep the like the plastic thing. I don't like it getting all over. <laughs> I like to try to keep things neat, even when I use them. So I don't know how I'm going to get my brush in there to do that, but I will figure it out. So that was day three. All right, day four looks like this. <laughs> Thank you. Do not, no, you cannot open them. I will tell you when I open them. <gasps> My daughter just came in with a bunch of packages that have just arrived. Thank you, love. Um, and <laughs> no, you cannot open them. Anyways, so this is day four. It's the same size as day three.
And this is take the whisk or lose <laughs> take the whisk or lose the chance. That's adorable. <sighs> so far, I'm really happy. I've got an eyeshadow palette. I have a highlighter palette. Um, we got the bronzer palette. Wow. And now we have a blush palette. <laughs> and the pun is just the it's just take the whisk or lose the chance. Come on, that is adorable. We don't do half measured. We don't do half measures, babe. You gotta pour until we overfill. Cook up a storm with good ingredient or good intentions and a heart so pure and real. Remember the biggest risk a person can take is choosing to do nothing. These are such great things on the back here. Butter up those fears with love and protective extra frosting. Because if you don't risk anything, you risk even more. Won't ever reach that full potential living outside of comfort zones is exciting and essential. So grab those challenges by the whisk. And again, whisk. Grab those challenges by the whisk. And achieve your wildest dreams. Whip up a batch of passion and show them you're more than what you seem. That is, I. how many times can I say adorable? Okay, let's open this up. What colors are you? Sorry, my mama never bought me singing lessons, so. Lo siento. All right. And again, it does have the warning. It does have the ingredients and there is talc, okay? I see talc and I see mica, okay. And so far, I think all of these have said 12 months. Um, I use powder until it either grows something or looks funky or smells funky. So I don't necessarily always. All right, here is the packaging on this one. So cute. Please be colors I can wear. Please be colors I can. And the secret ingredient, and these all say the secret ingredients is always kindness. I love that. All right. Oh, these are cute. Again, good size mirror. Okay, so these are a variety of colors. Now, this is very, okay, it's looking kind of brownish here, but it actually is like a, a soft peach. Okay. That is a pretty bright orange. It's like an orangish red over here. And this is like a very, very terracotta. This is kind of mauve-y. So that's a nice selection. I'm happy with that. That's a nice selection. And it's really cute, the little wisps em embossed in them. And I can get my brush in here. So that is cute. Okay, I'm happy, yay. I don't know how many times you got to hear it's adorable. I'm happy. Yay. <laughs> Maybe you can make it a, you know, drinking. Don't, don't, don't make it a drinking game. I don't know. Maybe make it a drink. It, it depends on you. I would not recommend it though. All right. Day number five. Okay. Day number five is the same size as day three and four, but we already have a highlighter palette, an eyeshadow palette. A bronzer powder palette, a powder palette. <laughs> this is another kind of palette. <laughs> this is said lips. So a moment on the lips. Might have started with a moment on the lips, but will last forever, I'm sure, because you're my one and only, a love so precious and pure. So cute has like a little stopwatch. That's cute. A moment on the lips and a lifetime to savor. One taste of my kiss. Okay, so your new favorite flavor. Wow. Some, uh, met you under the mistletoe and felt a spark, but wanted to wait for midnight. Knew that once the clock had chimed, our hearts would enchantingly unite. Our souls intertwined. I'm hooked on you. 
babe, there ain't no going back now. And every night ended with a kiss so magical. Oh, if every night ended with a kiss so magical, we may as well just write our vows. Because you're my one and only, a love so precious and pure. Might have started with a moment on the lips, but will last forever, I'm sure. It's a lipstick palette. And again, it does have the ingredients on the back and the warning and says 12 months. Now I do not have any lipstick palettes. Um, so never tried a lipstick palette. Well, I guess that's it. I had a lip gloss palette as a kid. So how cute is this? And it opens, it, op it opens like a little bit. Okay. That is cute. That is so cute. Okay, before I show you how cute this is, how stinking cute this is, there's a ribbon because it has a little tiny lipstick brush. That is cute. It does have a mirror again. Okay, I'm gonna kind of peel back so you can kind of see the colors, hopefully. They're all pretty neutral-ish. This is like a soft peach up here. They very much um, fit with the palette. So, with the blush palette. So that's nice. Yeah. Those, I, those are my colors. I'm, I, I'm not going to say it again. Cause you already know. You can probably say it with me. One, two, I have to count of three. Tell me what you think I'm going to say. One, two, three. I'm happy with that. <laughs> so far, I am really happy with this whole box. Okay. And we are halfway done. Oh, where did this one go? Gonna have to find that later. Okay, so we have five items left. This is number six. So this is definitely a very different shape than the other ones. Sorry, you don't like the right ice chunk. <laughs> okay, whatever this is, it looks cute. <laughs> Packaging man, I tell you. Pull it, um, P. Louise, it was the night before you scrub up well. Body scrub. Okay. Now, this is the first one that does not tell me any ingredients, but it is a body scrub. So, usually, it's a, sh you know, a lot of scrubs are made with sugar. Um, I, I'm so tempted. Do I want to open it? Okay, I'll open this now and tell you if it has a scent. Because part of me is like, don't open it because, you know, I have a couple body scrubs opened right now and I don't want it to, you know, go bad. So, but I want to know what this smells like. If I can actually get the plastic off of it. <laughs> There's got to be an easier way. Okay, there we go. So I can do a body scrub. Body scrubs. I like body scrubs. That works for me. It's plastic, though, I'm telling you. And this is a super cute little container. I wonder if when you're done, it's, it's a nice little plastic down here. I'm betting when you're all done, you can, like, clean it out. Um, That's sad, though. Okay, um, and uh, put other stuff in here. It has a nice little sealer on it. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, oh, oh. It's very, very gooey. Okay, so it's, there's a little bit of spicy smell to it. But I want to say it almost smells like, um, very fruity too though like candy fruity like unless my nose is just way off it almost felt smells like um uh fruit loops or but with like a little spicy angle to it i don't mind that scent that's actually pretty it's kind of a yummy scent and so now this plastic this cute little thing here is you know just a plastic thing you can rip off so that's kind of a bummer right there but after you use this because this is all plastic I mean even lid is plastic 
you can always um, clean it out and reuse this, which is what I'm going to do. Okay, that's good. All right, six, we are six for six. Okay, number seven looks like this. Oh, my finger got stuck on the top here. Okay. This is P. Louise Stay Shining Super Hydrating Formula. Um, leave a little shine wherever you go. This does not have any of those cute little things. This is a lip oil, it says, and it's in the color or in the thing, Winter Wish. I do not have any of P. Louise's lip oils. Come on, open. I do like lip oil. Okay, I just broke that. Like it did not lift and so I just, I do not have any of P. Louise lip oil. Oh, it has like a little crown. Um, let's see, does it have a scent? It does. It does not smell like Fruit Loops. It has a little bit of like a a spicy scent, like spicy warm. What is this called again? Winter wish. Oh, I thought I was gonna say something like something warm, winter warm or warmth for winter. Yeah, it smells good. Ooh, feels good. Doesn't really have a color though, just FYI, because it's like plain lip oil. You can see it right there. Okay. I'm excited to try that. I'm just gonna get rid of this box because I totally ruined it. But this one says six months. Okay. Well, I'm kind of sad now that I, I mean, I'm not sad that I didn't get the big one, <laughs> but I wish there were more days because I'm down to the last three days. And so far, I'm just so happy with, this is amazing. Like to consider I didn't spend that much more than I did for the Revolution ones. And like the size, and the amount of product in each thing. Yeah, this might be one I get again next year. All right, this is a flirty, a flirty flush of color liquid blush, the cheek of it. <gasps> yes, this is in the color baked biscuit. And okay, like, <laughs> I have been wanting to try this blush. Well, not this specific color. I don't know what it is, but this, blush i have seen it everywhere oh good this is not as i mean it's pretty big size um cream blush but uh it's not or liquid blush it's not as big as i thought it was okay let's see here it's got one of those big things now i'm not gonna use this because i saw that you can pop it off and um my little clean freak self is like yeah let's do that let's see can we get a little Okay, why are you not? Oh, there we go. Okay, it came out. Oh, no, don't fall. Everything falls. Okay. Okay. So, a little tiny bit. Oh, that's a pretty color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that color. That's nice. I will definitely give this a try. And I just have to say, this packaging on this is adorable. Like, how do I get this? Oh, that's cute. Okay, so to get this back in, there are those two little slots. So you just line it up. Okay, are you gonna? Okay, maybe. Okay, there we go. No, don't don't go in there. Is there an off on here? No. Okay. Like, there's no off on switch like Charlotte has. Oh, and then this twists on. Okay. But look at that packaging. That is adorable. The little gingerbread men, or actually, I should say little gingerbread ladies, they have bows. In well, okay. Little gingerbread people, because anybody can wear bows in their hair. Anyways, it's super cute. I, I'm excited because I've wanted to try this formula. And so if I like it, I can get more later. I, I'm sorry. I don't. You didn't come here to hear me sing. 
All right, day nine is the same size. Do we have another? Oh my gosh, I don't know why I am singing so, just cause I'm so darn happy. Okay, what is this? P. Louise Glossy and Glitzed. Okay, this has, oh, I didn't even say, does this have ingredients on the back? Yeah, the ingredients are on the back of this. So that's good, okay. Um, indulge and gratify all your desires all over body glow. Okay, I don't really use body glows. You've got great taste, glossy and glitzed. So this may be the first thing that I'm not too like, ooh, over. Um, oh, it has a nice little plastic thingy to, you know, make sure it doesn't pop open, I guess, or that someone hasn't used it. So I'm gonna probably put that back. Let's see what color this body glow is though. Again, I don't really, do I have to, maybe they have a, does it have a thing on the, yeah, it does. Good, good call, Tammy, looking. Okay, let's see. Are you going to be something, oh, I don't know about this one. This might be the first one that I'm not like, this might be a, okay. Let's see. Okay. Let no negative vibes. No negative vibes. Let's just look. Okay. So now if you're my age, I, I am 49. Tell me if you wear, you wear all over body clothes. Okay. So this is what it looks like on my hand. Oh, okay. I was expecting this to be like really, really dark. It's it's not that bad. Um, am I gonna wear it? Most likely not. But um, if I put it all over. Okay, it's just okay. Um, is it hydrating at least? It feels a little hydrating. It feels a little hydrating. If I if I run out of lotion, maybe I don't. I don't. It's a little hydrating. Not not a lot. I don't know. I'm not. I mean, it's a good size though. I mean, and if you are someone who wears like all over body glow, you might really like this. I mean, it's it's not dark. Like it's sheared out. Um, you could probably build it up. You know, and you still do get that like shine. Cause like, see that shine. Woo! Um, so if you are someone who does wear body glow, you might really love this. This is probably like, so this is so far my least woohoo. And we are now down to the last one, day 10. Day 10, where's day 10? Day 10 looks like this. Very thin, it's very big. It's very light. Okay. Keep it creamy, a color crayon trio. Okay. Whipped frosting, sparkling sprinkle, baked to perfection are the names. Um, the ingredients are on the back. And a warning. Okay. Let's open this up and see what these colors look like. So it says soft strokes. P. Louise soft strokes. I've never even seen this in the store. I don't know if um, this is a new item for P. Louise. Okay, it does say on the bottom the name of them because they do look like the same here, you know. Would have been super cute if they put a little gingerbread on it because everything else has gingerbread, but you know, hey. All right, let's see here. So this one is baked to perfection. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'll do it like this. Oops. Oh, that's super creamy. Like 
no pressure on that. Like you saw my little oops. Okay. Nice brown with some reddish in it, a nice warm brown. Next up is whipped frosting, whipped frosting. Yeah, whipped frosting. If I said whipped cream, I meant whipped frosting. Whipped fro okay, this is going to be a light one. Maybe this would be a good inner corner. Yeah, that could be a nice inner corner highlight right there. That's pretty. Okay. Are we three for three? Last one is sparkling sprinkle. So this one should be a sparkling. Oh, yeah, this is a sparkling one. For the other two, not so much. This is sparkling sprinkle, and all three of them are really, really creamy and very neutralish. Okay, so this is sparkling sprinkle. That's why I said, oh, yeah, it is. I'm happy with that. Okay, so <laughs> this was definitely a really good box, and I didn't necessarily get just one product. So even though this is one day, here's three products in one day. And then here is a whole palette with like six lips, a um, powder with four blushes, bronzer with four bronzers, the highlight with four highlights. I am really happy about this. Okay, so what am I the most excited about? I'm gonna say the thing I'm most excited about is really this um, liquid cheek because I have wanted to try this for so long. So I'm really happy with this. I think my next thing I'm super happy and excited about is this palette. It's a beautiful palette, nice size. Um, I'm really excited about these. Simple, really good one and done day. Um, I think next would probably be the blush palette. And then after the blush palette would be the um, lip oil. And then after the lip oil is probably the powder. After the powder is the body scrub. After the body scrub is the highlighter palette for me. After that, is the lip palette. Now the lip palette, it, it isn't because the colors or anything or the packaging, I think it's gorgeous. But I would say probably the lip palette just simply because I've never really used a lip palette and I do have so many lippies. I don't know how, I, I don't know my feelings on a lip palette. Um, So I may end up finding that it surprises me and I just fall in love with it. Who knows, right? And then um, last for me is this glossy all over. But I can't complain about any of them because even this glossy all over glaze, you know, is very, I mean, yeah, I'm a little shiny, but uh, okay, and I'm a little oily. It's not so much moisture as it is kind of, I don't know. But um, it's not like a color that's like, you see me from, you know, Mars or something. So yeah, um, <laughs> definitely worth it. I really enjoy this budget uh, advent calendar. I think I'm far happier with this one than I would have been had I spent all that money for the big one. And I say that because um, with this little one, like I'm getting a little sample of everything. Nothing is too big and bulky. And yeah, I get to try a lot of different products. So this was definitely worth the money. Um, if you found this interesting, I would love it if you would hit the thumbs up and um, subscribe if you like videos like this, if you like talking makeup, if you like talking <clears throat> Oracle and tarot decks, if you enjoy talking essential oils, because I might be starting to talk about those too soon. And um if you're into candles. So if you're into any of those kind of things, those are right down my alley. 
I might even actually do like a candle collection. Um, candle day just happened at Bath and Body over the weekend. And I'm going to be honest with you, I, I am a member. <laughs> um, so like I had three days that I could have gone in and got one of those 27 $29, $24 candles. I say 24, 27, 29, because there is a little bit of a price range depending upon its packaging and the type of lid you get. But um, I could have got those for all under $10 a piece. And I don't know how many candles I have, but I do know I have a lot. And so I just had to keep telling myself, you don't need any candles right now. Use what you, what you have. And when you get low, maybe next candle day. So I'm very proud of myself. Every day I had to tell myself that. So I would not sneak off to that store. And I made sure that I stayed away from that mall. You know, because teen daughter, Hanukkah, Christmas, Yule coming up, teen daughter. Enough said, right? So anyways, um, yeah, I think next year I might be looking at this sub advent calendar again because I feel like, you know, that beautiful packaging with the light up is not being wasted because I didn't get it. I didn't pay, you know, even a hundred dollars for all this, which would have cost definitely, you know, um, I am so pleased with this purchase and I think this might be one I get again in the future. All right. Um, let me know. Did you pick this up? Did you pick up the big one? Uh, are you happy with that? Do you wish you would have gotten a littler one instead? You know, is if you haven't gotten any of this, if you've tried P. Louise, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on the packaging? Because the packaging is so gorgeous, but it's just so big and bulky. What do you think of those big, big palettes? Um, I would love to know your thoughts on all of that. Am I just like, you know, off on an island by myself? Am I the only one who thinks these things? Um, if you've never tried P. Louise, is this something that you would consider getting next year, the budget advent box? Anyways, until next time, stay blessed and stay beautiful. Bye. Now I'm off to go get the Bailey Serrated Milk Cosmetics palette. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you there. I love Bailey Serian and I love her uh, dark history and her makeup and murder. I am a true crime junkie. I don't know what that says about me, <laughs> but yeah, I, I only have one other melt palette, but I am very intrigued with that color story. I love Bailey, want to support her. I'm not getting the whole collection because even though that, you know, makeup bag is gorgeous, I know those lip colors just are not me. I am not a, you know, a glitter. I mean, I know I know very, you know, <laughs> today, but I'm not like a glitter pot glitter person. So, but the palette, yeah, mm -hmm. that looks like I would use that. So anyways, yeah, did you pick that up? All right, I'm off to go get that now. So until next time, stay blessed, stay beautiful. Bye.